king of kings. And then when they left say that with the Lord, then the Lord in heaven is way more greater. There's no man that can fight God. So if God gives you strength, do not take it to be like you can fight God and you're stronger than God. Otherwise, because if I say God will take it and you can give. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible says that okay. All right, yeah. there, is, there, is, so there is no man, no king that can share a testimony. Uh, Roman so, yeah. to go and fight yeah, in the battle young, this, this young lad, yeah, bless without you. any armor. So you need to have the full armor of God on you so you can go and fight the devil. There is so many demonic evil spirits after your life so they can kill you. But the only thing that will save you is God. And the only thing that God will have to give you to, to, send, to, send, to fight the devil is your full armor of God. And you need that. Even though you need to fight with the little devil, you still need it. Because the full armor of God will God give you. Because even no matter how much you praise the Lord, but you're naked like you, you're in spiritual like sin. You have no garment on. You, you, unless you repent, you will have that garment on back. And then you can go, if, if you go back to the garment, Let him stay then it is bad. And you have to repent again. God, you bad. You think like you're going to blood of Jesus. Even though the blood is just, if you think that the blood is kind of waste, can be on your sin. Go and do the day will be your, your, be your turn to pay your blood. You can't pay God's blood and then you cannot pay your blood. So you're going to pay your blood for that. You can't, you pay God's blood. And God is telling you to repent. Well, you want to waste his blood. And, and you tell him, God, that means you hate God. You tell him to go back and die on the cross for you. But if you're not, he's going to come and give you a perfect life if you repent. There's no way to get to enter heaven without God. And if you, if you sin and sin and sin and repent, Christians 
Amen. And do not go back to the sin again. Yes. Never again. Amen. Never again. Yes. Because the Lord is not going to let him in the And he's coming for the living and the dead. Yes. So everyone has said that a wild crap is going to be in heaven. Mm. There is so many demons. Yes, yes. And if you want to be like that, you should get focused, you should pray, you should stop sinning. If you sin one, you should be prepared. And then give you that, if you want the full armor of God on you. Mm. So you can have friends with the devil. Mm. You don't have to see the devil like real. You, 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 you can sometimes be miserable, but you can sometimes see them. And then you can start, uh, and then you can pray, and I reject them, I burn you. Mm. If you let, if you let 
Jesus. That's why today is the day for you to repent. Yes. Yes. Because you're not waiting for the little day because tomorrow is not the promise. Mm. Today is the promise. Mm. And if you do, because the clock starts ticking and plus the Lord will be cooking right now. Yes. It's not because today you have to get the plan. It's not like a taxi coming to collect the right now. No luck of the collect the phone will for hell or heaven. So it's time to repent. Yes. Do not smell, do not drink, do not, do not go to parties, do not do any of that. Yes. If you want to be ready. Yes. If you want to be ready, repent today. Yes, yes. There's not a chance tomorrow. Mm. If you're the look of today, you repent right now. No way too late, no way to tomorrow, no way to to belong to today. Because you're not repentant. Even the many people say the Lord's coming in, they're not ready. Mm, Jesus. They're not ready. Mm. Because if, if people say the Lord is coming, they have to be ready completely. Mm. That's why. And if the Holy Spirit treated you in this message, you have to repent. Amen. Amen. Brother. Let that sister come yes, on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she wants to give her testimony. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. You want to give your testimony, is it? Yes, sure. Yes, yeah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, I give them for this opportunity to give it to me. I was so amazed the mm. way the small child was preaching the word of God. Mm. I just want to share a testimony. How the love of heaven manifested in our life. I'm, I was a born-again person, but I wasn't married to a born-again person. And it was an arranged marriage. And I got a boy, and on the seventh day of his birth, he started fitting. That means epileptic fits. And we never heard in our, in our family's epilepsy, so we had taken him to the hospital. But on the way, somebody rang and said that, we are going to pray for you. So someone else rang us when he was on the table, and he was fitting every five minutes, seven minutes, uh, like a vigorous fitting, and then he will come for a minute, then start again. So there was no hope. Seven, seven days old boy, he's standing with me on the other side now, and he is now 17 years old. So there's no hope at all. Then the doctor said, we can't, there are limitations what we can do. We have to take the blood and check so many things. I am a nurse. I know what will happen. If somebody fitting for more than half an hour, what will happen? But this child was fitting almost seven hours because the midwife told me it might be calcium deficiency, so you don't need to worry. But it continuously progressed into actual epilepsy, epileptic fits. So I was so much worried, but once somebody prayed, we, I was in Belfast Royal Hospital, and the prayer was from London. So when he was praying, after around, probably it was six minutes, suddenly my son fitted vigorously and stopped forever. Hallelujah. He never had that fits anymore. Hallelujah. And you know, that saved my husband and we are serving the Lord now. Amen. So I'm not here to say any religion. I'm not saying here to say, represent any religion, but I want to say that there is a love that God manifested through Jesus, who is the Christ, who has the power all over any darkness in this world, and definitely He will give us a victorious life in this world, and eternity will be in heaven. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you.